Hi, I'm Ellie from crystallinks.com. Today is Saturday, July 22nd, 2017. We have some uh, celestial events that I want to talk about today from a little bit from a science perspective and a little more from a pseudoscience perspective. Uh, tomorrow we have a new moon zero, zero Leo and we go forward to August 21st, 2017, and we find a new moon again in Leo, this time 28 Leo. But the exciting part about that new moon is that it's accompanied by a solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse, which is a very exciting thing and has different meanings for different people. There is the scientific aspect of it, of which you will read all of the information here and there online as it calls to you. It could be from NASA, from space.com, just from the general news. And the um, there are places where you can go to see exactly when and where it comes across the sky to your area. I looked it up today to see what's happening in New York. And here in New York City, where I am, it starts at like almost like a countdown, uh, 1.23 p.m., it has comes full blockage of the sun by the moon at 2.44 p.m., and then it completes at 4 o'clock. Uh, you can look it up and see how it affects your area. I have a friend who's a travel agent who told me that uh, it must be very powerful coming over t uh, Tennessee because people are booking flights and hotels and all kinds of things and they're just all heading out to Tennessee. I don't know if it's Nashville or Memphis, but this is where they feel they can see it the longest and feel the energy the best. It's summer. Why not make it a little summer adventure, get some friends together, go out there, take your camera, take your tripod, take pictures, take videos. I mean, enjoy it because it is summer and a lot of people have vacation towards the end of the summer. So it's kind of a fun thing to do. Um, from the perspective of the sciences, it's all going to be out there. I'm going to put a link underneath this video as to how and when and where it's going to happen in your specific area. So you can do that. Then we move from the sciences to pseudoscience, okay? Now, I know that a lot of people who are astrologers are going to be talking about the various alignments and what they mean and how they affect your personality and things in your life. And I used to follow that when I started Crystal Links 22 years ago. But I don't follow that anymore because most of the things that they tell you about a certain celestial alignment are very generic. Like this energy means you are going to let go of your hidden this and you're going to do this and it's going to fill you with energy and you're going to be this and you're going to be that. It all depends on your chart actually. Okay, that's, that's the whole thing with astrology. I know peripheral astrology. I am not an astrologer. I don't memorize charts. I know suns and moons and ascendants and, you know, some basic things, but I can't tell you exactly how this solar eclipse is going to affect you because I really don't know. I can't, I don't know your chart. And even if I looked at your chart, I probably wouldn't know. So I'm being very honest about it. I just know this. We're opening a window. Okay, this is pseudoscience. We're opening a window tomorrow with the new moon in Leo, zero Leo. Okay, zero, zero is always a completion thing. Okay. We're going to go ahead to August 7th. On August 7th, we have a full moon lunar eclipse, 15 Aquarius. And then we go ahead to August 21st, 2017, and then we have our new moon solar eclipse, total solar eclipse at 28 Leo. So we are dealing with the energies of Leo, which is really powerful energies, not just because it's a lion, it's a fire sign, and it, it's, it's a very powerful sign, and Aquarius. Aquarius is my sign. I actually have a Leo moon Aquarius sun, but Aquarius is sudden and unexpected things occur. It could be in my life, it could be in your life, it could be in the world, it could be in politics, 
when I look at all of these aspects, okay, first thing I saw this morning when I did a blog on this is the window that opens from zero Leo to 28 Leo eclipse, okay? Then I went back to the lunar eclipse, 15 Aquarius, and some major things are going to happen on the planet within this framework. It has to be. Very often it's earthquakes, you know, things that um, are predictable but not completely predictable. Like as we're entering into this Leo moon and the energy comes up like a day or two before, yesterday there was a big earthquake in the Aegean Sea, 6.7 if I'm not mistaken, that's what I read, and it had a tsunami attached to it, and unfortunately only two people died, but it's just always sad when you hear things like that. Um, there's going to be a lot of rocking and rolling and shaking and things going on in this window. Uh, you can look at it in your personal life and say, what's going to shake in my personal life? Could be your job. It could be school. It could be your relationship. It could be your health. Definitely could be about your health. If something is bothering you now, like people sit on problems too long. If something's bothering you, check it out. Just go check it out. That's all. That's assuming we're going to continue to have medical insurance, but affordable health care is another whole topic. Um, there are a lot of things. I, I feel the Aquarius energy just as much as I feel the Leo energy, but Aquarius is going to stir things and it makes things happen out of the blue. Like I hear so much now about deaths. This one's dying at a young age. This one has a fatal illness. This one was in an accident. I mean, I do hear good things too, but I'm just referencing things like from clients talking to me. The need to let go of is going to be probably in every astrological report. Let go of, go out there on the nights of these eclipses and moons and go out there and meditate. Meditate on whatever you want to meditate on. You can meditate on the moon or the eclipse or your life or, or what's ahead or whether Ellie is right when she says we're living in a hologram that's about to go poof, you know, out of the blue. I mean, you can meditate on anything you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's endless. You will know what you have to do. You can meditate with music. You can meditate without. Meditation is just something to me that is just a personal experience in the moment. Do what you're guided to do. Make a plan alone. Make a plan with a friend. Uh, the eclipse, I know the timeline for the eclipse for us in New York is going to be afternoon which is gonna be very, very cool. Some people will see it, some people may be at work, they may not be able to, but it's gonna get dark. And when it gets dark, just say, well, Ellie says at the end of this hologram, it's all gonna to fade to black. And when it goes black for, let's say here, from 123 to 244, which is interesting numbers, one is a sequence and one is, is um, two and 44, you know, there's the double digits, when, all of this happens, meditate on something a little more profound than is my relationship working? Should I leave it? What's going on? And don't get too involved with the airy fairy stuff. A lot of people come back out of these meditations and go, the energy was so amazing. I never experienced anything like that. Because the reason I stopped I, I've never meditated, but why I stopped having meditation classes is they put you in a high, but you have to look at your real life and what's really going on. So you're going to be in this high for a couple of hours and maybe you will have done a hallucinogen or smoked some weed. The whole country's going crazy with drinking and drugging. So self-medication or, or medication. So maybe you'll be a little high and a little happy and whatever, but then you got to ground yourself back and you got to look at your real life. What works, what doesn't work. Make a list, take a paper and a pen when you stop watching this. This is what I want to change and see if it's doable. If you program for the change, you will. Not everybody can change. If you have a crummy job, you know, and it just it's just awful, you're micromanaged and whatever, it, it's not that easy to just pick up and go. I know there are people who just walk away from careers and say, no, 
I, I just can't do this career anymore. I can't be corporate. I want to go into healing and helping the world. I want to save the planet stuff, all of that. Whatever, whatever calls to you. Just know that this window that is coming along is really going to shake your dreams and your thoughts and the way you look at people that you meet and the way you look at the world and the way you look at reality and I mean you can write it down you can put it into a recording you can do whatever you want to do you can do some automatic drawing and art about the visuals you're seeing but this is a time of movement forward I don't know how I know the things I know but they come to pass this particular window you don't have to be a Leo or have a Leo anything going on this particular window is pushing you forward it comes on the 22nd the 21st of August by the 23rd which is and it's it lasts for two three days after that energy by the 23rd we go into what I call Virgo transition it happens for everybody every year that's when the changes start happening some people say that's when the new cycle in numerology begins every year it, whatever works for you however you want to live it but the bottom line is when that Virgo comes in on the 23rd that Virgo transition you better have straightened out in your mind what you want to do because things are going to continue to rock and roll luckily we're not in mercury retrograde during that time it comes in not not in that window I forget the next retrograde but it's not going to be affected by all of these energies so you have to be the person who decides what you want to do if you don't want to go back to college and your spouse or your parents or your whoever may be mad at you if you feel I don't want to go back to school in that window I don't want to go back at the end of August beginning of September this is not where I need to be it's not for my better growth then take the break because school is very expensive maybe you should be in another school or maybe you should be changing your major I'm talking about college and above not high school I'm talking about the real school you know where you need to plan a career if you are suffering like the millions really it's millions of people who are suffering from heavy depression and anxiety your thinking is foggy you can't make a decision you can't even get out of bed it's causing physical problems see if you can possibly get yourself some help uh, if you don't want to go on meds don't go on meds but always remember sometimes you have to go on meds and Leo may just be growling at you you need some meds if you had a heart problem you get some meds right so now if your brain which is a computer is not functioning properly get some meds try them try a little bit if it doesn't work out trash them flush them do whatever if the meds are working see what and when and how and which you know which psychologists or psychiatrists you should be seeing because we have learned this much about ourselves we are a broken hologram or simulation that's how we're programmed it's nobody's fault I'm not blaming anyone I'm not saying God is a terrible dude or something there is no God dude up there anyway calling these shots but it's just that whatever is going on think about what help you need to move forward before it goes to critical mass because in Leo things are going to go they, they could go postal for you they could there's gonna be a lot happening I'm telling you and if you're just a normal person going about their lives and you know just trying to keep your balance and eat properly and not get involved with crazy friends and family then just do that just be careful that's all that's all I'm saying don't tempt fate in this window uh, if you think you shouldn't be out driving alone at night on a road at 2 o'clock in the morning not drunk just out alone don't go cancel a plan just be very cautious and introspective and think and watch it's a very good time to watch the news listen to the news I know a lot of you hate the news who likes the news the news is ridiculous the Trump situation is is getting to critical mass also you know I mean it's all going 
to make changes, big changes in this window. So on that note, you plan whatever you want to plan, either for the um, new moon tomorrow night or the eclipses of August 7th and August 21st. Decide whatever works for you. And remember this too. Celestial alignments affect each of us differently. We each have a matrix around our body. Everybody does, okay? Your consciousness does. It what helps you align to different people and things and situations and past lives and future lives and, and, and other planets and remote viewing and all the out-of-body stuff. Now, with your matrix, okay, just be very careful how you align it, what you align it to, and just go forward and do what you need to do. If you want to meditate, do it. If you don't, don't. And if, oh, the point I was going to make is alignment, alignments affect each of us differently. Like right now, I'm not feeling anything with this new moon in Leo. Tomorrow may be different for me. It's not doing anything for me. I don't feel overly energized. I don't feel tired. I don't feel anything like this is just another day. So this particular alignment is not influencing my grid. Then the window will open and things will start to happen. And since I'm Aquarius Leo, when we get to Aquarius, we'll see what's happening for me. You know, I will see what's happening for me. You have to see what's happening for yourself. So you have to just know that even if the whole world is out there and I don't blog again on the eclipse, the solar eclipse, of August 21st and people are like oh my god I felt this I felt that and you're sitting there going I didn't feel nothing then you, you just weren't aligned to it it just wasn't your moment in time for your consciousness to move on but we got us a nice one month window going into Virgo transition go with it see what happens expect change plan for change and really I know it's in all the astrology reports it's in all the numerology let go of the things that don't work for you if you can there's always the if you can and that means you are programmed to let people places and things go so on that note enjoy this window enjoy all these eclipses and what and there's a lot of other things going on too but that's for a real astrologer to come in and you'll see the reports on where the planets will be during these alignments and go with it and uh I just say enjoy. Thank you.